Technology today is evolving at a rapid pace. We often hear about the new developments in Web3, blockchain applications, and more recently, generative AI. Hong Kong has welcomed these innovations and also seeks to support a sustainable and responsible development of the virtual asset ecosystem. Motivated by these developments, the Hong Kong Institute for Monetary and Financial Research has published two reports on decentralized finance and the metaverse. These reports provide an overview of the local and international industry landscape, regulatory developments, and the opportunities and challenges these technologies may bring. Let's talk about the fascinating developments of digital finance and virtual reality. First up, DeFi or decentralized finance. This innovating technology uses blockchain and smart contracts to offer financial services without the need of traditional financial institutions. Next, for Metaverse, imagine a network of virtual worlds where you can have experiences similar to or completely different from real life. Currently, DeFi and the Metaverse play a distinct role in financial services. Metaverse is about engaging with people, with DeFi focusing on creating new financial products on the blockchain. As we look to the future, the Metaverse has the potential to seamlessly integrate virtual asset markets, making it easier to trade Web3 products and services, including those powered by DeFi protocols. This evolution promises a future with more secure, efficient and transparent exchanges on these virtual platforms. According to our survey, many financial institutions and virtual asset service providers consider that a well-defined regulatory framework, a comprehensive legal system, and a robust financial infrastructure are important for the virtual asset market development. In light of these findings, we view that the DeFi market could be developed using a prudent regulatory approach with same activity, same risk, same regulation as the guiding principle. Also, a hybrid system of centralized decentralized finance could be developed to reap the benefits of both worlds. Last but not the least, promoting virtual assets talent development is beneficial for market growth. Our study finds that a majority of financial institutions in Hong Kong have notable interests but moderate level of engagement in the metaverse. The current use cases in the financial services industry mainly focus on marketing and internal operations. Nonetheless, we also find that financial institutions are interested in exploring additional applications within the metaverse if they can offer a broader range of opportunities for enhanced services. These can be achieved with a fully-fledged metaverse ecosystem that can cater to diverse requirements. To achieve this goal, we suggest the importance of nurturing relevant talents such as blockchain developments, fostering public-private collaborations, and promoting continuous advancement in underlying technologies.